Diary Hello, it is June 2023 and this is a mini guide on what to do before you mount the chain uh, on your bicycle. Now, unbeknownst to me, uh, as someone who's uh, been mounting chains for, for years and years, um, the current thinking, uh, which I have now fell in line with, is that when you buy a new chain, you shouldn't just put it onto your bicycle. What you should do first is clean that chain. Um, so I'm just going to go through the steps from buying the chain to putting it on the bicycle. You can see it is now mounted. Um, so first of all, you're going to research on the interweb um, the right chain for your bicycle. So you might have an 11 speed bike or a 12 speed bike or a 10 speed bike, etc. There are different uh, thicknesses to chains and for example, SRAM 12 speed have got a nice flat top 12 speed chain, but that's only going to fit 12 speed bicycles um, or there are different compatibilities. So first of all is go on the interweb and buy the right chain. So the chain arrives, uh, but you're not done yet. The next thing I would say is take the old chain off the bicycle. Now, the old chain may not be the full full length. It may, as is always the case on my bicycles, have been truncated somewhat. And what you're looking to do is, um, before you take that chain off, check was it the existing chain the right length? And one way to do that is to shift into the lowest front gear here and check the chain on the smallest cog here. So that's where the chain is bending at a terrible angle. So you're, you're at the smallest uh, point here and you're at the smallest cog at the back. Uh, so the chain is, is going at an angle, but it will also be the slackest. And you wanna just check that it's not too slack. Uh, so this mechanism will this spring mechanism will of course increase the, the tension to take up that slack, but there's only so much it can do. So if it's super slack, then you may want to shorten the chain. And if you shorten it too much, what will happen is when you're on the big cog here, and the big cog here, again, there's the, the other extreme example, then this this arm here will be really, really too too much like that. So that's, a, that will, that's what will happen if you shorten the chain too much. So you bought the new chain, you've taken the old chain off. Let's assume the old chain is the right length. Uh, I put the chain side by side and then using a chain link tool like this, I will break the chain so that the new chain is the same length as the old chain. So now we've got the chain to the right length. The next step is to clean the chain. And this is the step that's new to me, but I've now thoroughly fallen in line with modern thinking. Uh, what was I thinking? So you're gonna need uh, I would say three things. You're going to need, first of all, white spirit. You're gonna need methylated spirit, and then you're gonna need the lubrication for your chain. And the thinking is that the oil that comes, so the grease or oily substance that's on the chain when you buy that chain is not the best, and you can do better than the packing grease that's on the chain. So the idea is you're gonna fully remove all the grease that's on the chain. So first you take this brand new chain, in my case, I will have shortened it by a few links, and I put it into this little plastic dish here, and then I submerge it in white spirit. Oh, I do need another tool. Hang on, what else did I use? A paintbrush. So let's add to this the paintbrush. Oh, by the way, you'll have put your I forgot to mention, you'll have put your nice blue nitrile gloves on or whatever other gloves you, you've bought. So you're not going to get your hands too mucky uh, during this, this an operation. So yes, yeah, so let's rewind to the start. You'll have put your gloves on first. You'll have unpacked the chain. You'll have shortened the chain. You're now submerging the chain in a solution of white spirit. You're going to um, agitate the, the mix with this brush and brush off all the grease. I would leave it for a couple of hours, come back and... Um, in my case, cover it so the cat doesn't think it might be a nice treat, uh, and then rinse it off. Sorry, just pour away the liquid. You're then gonna do the same thing with this methylated spirit. You're gonna submerse the chain in the methylated spirit, which takes off the residue left by white spirit. Uh, you're gonna agitate it again with the, uh, the, the paintbrush, and then you're gonna, you're gonna um, rinse off the methylated spirit and let the chain dry. Uh, now, basically, you are ready to put the chain onto the bicycle. So at this point uh, in the process, uh, I have a SRAM chain. Um, I, I, I was uh, a little bit annoyed to find with my grubby, oily hands uh, covered uh, over by the gloves, but still quite grubby and oily, that uh, SRAM said, oh, you've just got to go to the interweb now and look up the instructions. Huh. 
So I did, and the instructions came with instructions how to fit the cassette, etc., etc. But basically, the instructions for the, this cheap SRAM chain uh, were just along the lines of that the quick link, which uh, is, is the thing that's going to join the chain, so you don't need to put a special pin in with a chain extraction tool. On most modern chains, there's a quick link which slides together. It's two sides of, of a link. Um, it's got a little arrow on it, and the arrow has to be facing the direction, i.e. this way. Uh, so I've done that. So you put the quick link on, um, and then you stand on the pedals, and the quick link closes. Uh, putting the chain on is a, I would say, two-person operation. I did it with one person today. It's either one person, and for me, a lot of swearing, or two people holding the chain, and one person holds the chain, and the second person puts in the quick link. So that is it. The, the change in chain fitting has come about because I'm now scored about the fact that the oil slash grease that's on the chain, when you buy that chain, is not the best. And you are compromising the efficiency of your cycling if you leave it on. You're best taking it all off and putting on the chain and then applying your lube of choice. This is one of the different lubes that we have, this uh, muck-off dry lube. Uh, and I, I will soon apply that to this chain. Okay, thanks for watching, Diary. I hope that's been interesting.